Sometimes watching a movie isn't enough. You also want to eat that movie. That's why there's movie recipes. Today we're with Chef Victor Albizu at Del Campo in Washington, D.C. We have challenged him with creating a dish Scarface would enjoy that isn't a plate of cocaine. Chef Albizu has selected a list of essential ingredients to do just that. They are piquillo peppers and black beans to represent Scarface's black tux that ends up stained red. Squid ink, it's the same color as Scarface's heart. And basil, because you just can't forget Al Pacino is Italian, no matter how hard he tries. <laughs> So Scarface. Scarface. Oliver Stone wrote the screenplay, actually uh, suffering from cocaine addiction while he wrote the screenplay. Uh, that's not, that explains a lot. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's uh, Tony Montana is a Cuban refugee who comes over, and he is played by that uh, world-renowned Cuban actor Al Pacino. <laughs> You were calling More Hollywood whitewashing. That's right. And it's a it's a rags to riches type story. Rags to very criminal riches. Yes, very criminal riches. It's in fact to the point of obscene criminal riches, to the point that he's got like this giant mountain of cocaine on his desk at the end of it. And he's just like periodically sticking his face into it. Kind of makes you wonder if Oliver Stone realized what he was doing halfway through the script and decided to like self-reference it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll at least he's, mention it so that people will know I'm aware. probably put notes in the margin that said, make sure there's always cocaine going on at, at any time, you know, that uh, anybody says anything. An actually hilarious scene. It's a tragic scene, but it's hilarious how they do. Those are the best kind. Yeah, you know, Tony Montana is a is a paranoid character, and he's told his best friend Stephen Bauer, who's actually a Cuban actor, the but he's not using his real name. Uh, his he tells his friend like, don't don't ever go towards, don't try for my sister, don't try it ever at all. So like towards the end of the movie. He uh, opens the door and he sees his friend and she and he sees his sister like dress dressing. They, they you know they're living together. They're living in sin or whatever. And he shoots he shoots his best friend over it. And she comes down crying and everything. Like, we were going to tell you that we were married and surprise you. Do you think that he likes surprises like that? Do you think that's the kind of guy you're dealing with? And like every time I see this scene, it's like oh that's tragic. And then when she says that, I'm like <laughs> you just I just laugh because it's like you know who Tony Montana is yeah. there's no reason for you to think that he'd love this surprise surprises yeah. are everyone's friend yeah exactly <laughs> think he's going to serve us? I don't know. What, there's not, let me, I was trying to think about what kind of dishes are in Scarface. Well, it might be, I wouldn't be surprised to see, you know, something bloody or I will rare. I say this, he does work at a Cuban sandwich uh, place at the beginning, so it could be Cuban sandwich of some sort. Like from Chef. Like from Chef. And I would be totally down with a Cuban sandwich. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. It's way better than blood. Yeah, it's way better. Oh my Lord Moses. Yeah, this looks amazing. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got here? Okay, so we have a take on a roba vieja. Roba vieja is, you know, anywhere you go in Cuba, I just got back from Cuba, uh, anywhere you go in Cuba, roba vieja is served. And it's generally done with beef, but now at these nice paladares or these home restaurants, you're starting to use lamb. It's just trying, they're trying to think outside the box a little bit. Uh, so I kind of broke the box. Uh, <laughs> so I put squid ink in my roba vieja braise, and then, uh, to give it a little bit of an acid punch, um, I made a kind of a warm escabeche of calamari to kind of bind it with the squid ink. Okay. So it's a bit of a surf and turf. 
But this uh, this is uh, say hello to my little lamb. <laughs> nice. And, uh, <laughs> so uh, it, it has that kind of black on white vibe, you know, the tux, the the piquillo pepper. I mean, I don't mean it to be gross, but it's kind of got that that blood stain on it. It's mm -hmm. bright red. Uh, and then I have this kind of almost like a rum based uh, vinaigrette that I put around the, uh, the dish. That's kind of signifies the mojito. It's got basil. It's got um, mint, because right now in Cuba they're using a lot of basil, strangely enough. Uh, and the mint just kind of goes with that homojito and lime vibe. So uh, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of reasons that all that stuff is there. I don't know if you need any more explanation than that. So this is lamb. This is braised lamb. Um, with squid ink in the braise. With squid That's ink in the so braise. Dark. That's right. It's really it's good? good. Oh, good, great. Yeah, it's great really to hear. good. Oh my God. Great to hear. I mean, I, I've had lamb before. I've not had a lot of it. The the whole idea of doing Cuban food, everyone always says, do pork. You know, pork mm -hmm. this, pork that, pork. And, you know, right now, of course, pork is very prominent in Cuban cooking, but I, I'm seeing a lot more lamb. Actually, haven't been on the ground, and I, I, I got to, like, experience more uh, of what they're doing there. So this is very relative. It's pretty awesome to have an authentic Cuban dish based on a movie with non-authentic Cuban actors. <laughs> that is correct. That's right. <laughs> this really, actually, you know, the basil's also there because Al Pacino's Italian. So there's a little bit of that. There's risotto on the plate instead of rice. You know, these are, these are the little things that, you know, that I that, that make me happy. It's so, really good, man. It's, well, you've knocked it out. Making me happy as well. This I'm glad amazing. you like it, man. This has got a, a unique flavor. I haven't also, had anything like this before. I haven't either, but it also looks amazing. Yeah. Like... Everything, uh, it's perfect, man. It looks look beautiful. Yeah. It's cool. almost like you knew they were going to be filming this. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm doing my best. Thanks to Victor for the Cuban culinary excellence. Make sure you head over to the Community Table channel to hear more from him and all the other chefs we got to hang out with. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Movie Recipes.